It's safe to say chlorophyll is having a moment right now. It has long been praised for its wide range of health benefits, including cancer prevention, healing wounds, skin care and acne treatments, weight loss, and boosting energy. But what does the research say about chlorophyll's claims of acne, seasonal allergies, skin cancer, diabetes, and cholesterol? In this video, I'm going to be taking a deeper dive into chlorophyll's effect on the body and give you my professional opinion on whether or not I think it is helpful harmful or just a plain hoax. What's up foodies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa. I'm a licensed and practicing pharmacist as well as a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. Now it is important to remember that natural remedies and certain foods can interact with certain disease conditions or medications. So it's really important that you talk to your own doctor and pharmacist before supplementing with anything. So first off, what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is the pigment that gives plants their green color. It plays a critical role in photosynthesis Synthesis, which is the fancy word of explaining how plants convert sunlight to usable chemical energy for plant growth. However, it's important to note that the green liquid supplement drops is actually chlorophyllin, a semi-synthetic mixture of sodium copper salts that is derived from chlorophyll. How does chlorophyll affect our bodies? Despite current research, we still don't really understand how chlorophyll actually acts on our bodies, but there are a couple of theories, and one of them being the metabolic plant feedback hypothesis. It's this idea that consuming bulk amount of phytochemicals like micronutrients or chlorophyll may inhibit the harmful inflammatory processes that can happen in our bodies. Basically, eating plants is good for you because they are packed with antioxidants, flavonoids, and carotenoids, all of which help reduce inflammation and protect the tissues from oxidative damage. The next theory involves blood building. No, not blood bending, my avatar friends. Blood building. One study in anemic rabbit showed intravenous liquid chlorophyll significantly improves the quality of bone marrow and blood. Best to remember that this study was done in anemic rabbits, not really applicable to humans. On a similar note, preventing altitude sickness is another more anecdotal situation where chlorophyll's blood building attributes can come in handy. But what does the research say about chlorophyll's claims on acne, seasonal allergies, skin cancer, diabetes, and cholesterol? Research has verified antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, but I caution you against considering chlorophyll as this cure-all for any of the situations. More studies are definitely needed. For acne, preliminary research in young adults with acne shows applying facial sheets containing chlorophyll on one side of the face 30 minutes twice weekly in combination with LED irradiation therapy improves acne severity and reduces acne counts by 32% after two weeks. For seasonal allergies, research shows that taking chlorophyll daily for eight weeks reduces the use of rescue medications, but does not improve symptoms or quality of life in people with seasonal allergies. In non-melanoma skin cancer, preliminary research shows administering chlorophyll product as an intravenous solution or topically as a gel in combination with laser irradiation or light therapy seems to be effective in achieving complete and sustained remission of patients with basal cell carcinoma. Finally, a study on overweight women reported significant decreases in craving as well as drops in LDL levels compared to those in the control group, so those patients who weren't taking anything. Now for the next couple of benefits that I'm going to go over, these have only been seen in vitro or in animal subjects, so we really, really need more studies. Chlorophyll has also been shown to be an effective antioxidant, lowering inflammatory cytokines, and neutralizing oxidative stress. Studies have shown chlorophyll to modulate blood glucose levels, improve cellular waste metabolism, and stimulate detoxification. With all these seemingly fantastic, amazing, great results, I caution you once again, more evidence is needed to rate chlorophyll in these uses. While chlorophyll might help with all of these conditions that I just mentioned, there are more and better targeted ways to improve these conditions other than chlorophyll. So I wouldn't put your all-in cure-all hope in chlorophyll for treating any of these conditions. It's also important to note that there is no recommended amount of chlorophyll human beings are supposed to ingest per day because there is very little research about the topic. As far as safety and potential side effects, there are some potential side effects, including mild stomach ache, discolored waste, particularly green, if you know 
know what I mean, and a potential increase in sunburns for those using chlorophyll drops. It seems like a relatively healthy person on no medications wants to try it in moderation. There's no real harm, but remember, talk to your healthcare before supplementing with anything. Now, if it were me, I'm not sure I would hop on the liquid chlorophyll band Reagan just yet, but only for the sole purposes of saving money and spending it on a natural source of chlorophyll in the form of a variety of green vegetables, particularly spinach, kale, arugula, parsley, and green beans. When you consume green vegetables, you're not only getting a healthy dose of chlorophyll, but you're also getting a great source of, of vitamins, minerals, fiber, which is a way better option than just liquid chlorophyll. For this reason, I'm gonna classify chlorophyll as potentially helpful due to the current scientific literature, relative safety of the chlorophyll supplements, and potential benefits outweighing the risk when it comes to taking chlorophyll. Now, if you wanna learn more about supplements and superfoods that do have a clinical benefit that have been proven in the scientific literature and could be helpful to you in your health, I do offer a supplement consulting service where based on your lab work, diet, lifestyle, medical condition, personal symptoms, and exercise habits, we create a personalized supplement herbal, nutritional, and lifestyle protocol in order to support your optimum health and well-being. So if you're interested in a free wellness consultation, make sure that you click the link below in the description to book it. I am also taking on clients for my Remedy Wellness Experience, which encompasses personal training, nutrition coach, supplement consulting, and medication education for a total lifestyle revamp program. This experience helps identify and address root causes of diseases, illnesses, and other conditions. You can use that same link in my description below to book a free wellness consultation about the Remedy Wellness experience. Now, if you want more day-to-day -day health and superfood tips and tricks, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments and make sure to check out all the scientific references that I used in making this video down below in my description so you can also have an informed decision making all on your own. Thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!